Okay, so for some reason, someone asked me to do a voice acting tutorial. First off, I want to say that I am not a professional. Yeah, that's the surprise of the century, right? So, my advice and techniques are not the best. Allow me to shock you even more by saying I have no professional training or equipment. The only thing I have are my drawings, two iPads, and my little sister, plus my own voice. Okay, so first thing is first, before you talk, you should write a script. I'm actually reading a script right now. That way you won't fumble on words and forget what you were going to say. Secondly, when you talk, make sure you have emotion. Let's say the sentence is, my grandma died. You could say, my grandma died. Or you could say, my grandma died. Or you could say, my grandma died. If you have no emotion, it will sound kind of like, my grandma died. It'll be like story time at kindergarten again. Third, probably the most important too, come up with the actual voice for the character. Make sure the voice fits them. Like, you don't want a little girl that sounds like, Let's play Barbies. And you don't want a grown man who sounds like, Honey, I got fired today. When you make a character's voice, try to make them all sound different. If they all sound the same, it wouldn't be very authentic. Let's say all my what, let's say all my girl characters sounded like this, and all my boy characters sounded like this. It's not so believable. One way to try to separate voices is to put accents. I try to do that, and I have to say I believe I am terrible at accents, and I am always deathly afraid that I'll offend someone from the region of the accent. For example, let's say Techno and Prank Prince. I try, emphasis on try, to give Techno somewhat of a Bronxy accent. Wait, no, Prank Prince, not Techno. But he, wait, but he has kind of the same components as Techno, except for the accent. But they both sound different. Or at least I hope, anyway. Also, make a vo making a voice more nasal or throaty can change a lot. For example, I can be more nasal, or I can be more throaty. It changes a lot. And lastly, the recording. I personally like to use two iPads for recording. Also, I can't really use anything else. Make sure that the recording is audible and not fuzzy or full of background noise. Also, sometimes it might be useful to use voice editing. What I do for Soul Princess is I add an echo. That usually helps with the effect. Also, when I do Techno's voice, I admit that I lower my voice a couple of digits. I feel like a phony. Well, that's pretty much all I have. I hope this helps just a teeny bit at least. But, like I said, I'm not an expert, so this advice shouldn't be taken so seriously.